my book is actually about immigration. It's called Finding Your Silver Lining in the Business Immigration Process. It talks about all the different business visas. The preface of my book is the personal section that talks about my, uh, my own personal trauma that I went through and how I overcame it. We're here to make a dent in the universe or else why are we even doing this? If I don't think I cut out with the fun stuff, because that to me is the fun stuff build that audience because if you've got no one to sell it to then it's just going to flop and die and no one likes a floppy right i'm yet to meet a woman who just kind of grew up confidently in her body welcome to my podcast i'm nicole brumner join my weekly conversations with really interesting people as i delve into the stories and experiences that make them uniquely them Your ex-husband was deported. What was that for? At the time, he was my husband. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's um. It's funny. It's the preface of my book, actually, which catapulted me to become more of an international immigration-focused lawyer and all of that. In order to function, we had to rethink everything at the time. So we'll go, we went on our honeymoon. We went out of the country to Thailand, and on the way back, they told. Us. I was in the process of getting my green card and they said, sorry, your husband has basically gone, screw you, to the U.S. government. And they did that gesture, literally. Mm -hmm. The USCIS, or at the time CBP, Customs and Border Patrol, said has done this one too many times. Now we're going to do it right back to him. And I'm like, mm -hmm. what are you talking about? I didn't even realize that there was really a problem. So they took him, they put him in immigration jail, they deported him, and they subsequently barred him from entry. And here I am on the way back from a honeymoon, February 2nd, 2007, like, what am I gonna do now? I was a corporate lawyer. So corporate lawyers don't necessarily understand immigration. Immigration lawyers don't necessarily understand corporate stuff. And I said, that's it. I am going to make a difference. So this never happens to other people. So the important thing in this whole process is a lot of people, profess to be experts in far too many areas. My specialty is not doing that. What I do well is because I'm like, you know what? I don't know the answer. I don't know how to protect your assets. Let's bring in my asset protection guy. I don't know how the tax implications of becoming a, a non-resident alien. Let's bring in my tax expert. What are the implications if you're investing in the US, for example, and you're not necessarily immigrating? How does that impact your home country where you are filing taxes? There's just a whole plethora of items that are kind of under consideration, let's say, and should be under consideration. And far too many people just are like, oh, let's just invest and we'll just do a visa and da da da. It's all well and good until you until it's not. My book is actually about immigration. It's called Finding Your Silver Lining in the Business Immigration Process. It talks about all the different business visas. The preface of my book is the personal section that talks about my, uh, my own personal trauma that I went through and how I overcame it, how I used that as a path to develop this business and help others avoid that fate. 